three to four years down the road, Garcia versus Canelo at 165. Oscar De La Hoya says, they're already doing it. Let's talk. Drew Titan Bronx on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Man, you know what? It, you know, I love boxing, but I hate it. The sport don't love us, man. It really doesn't. They planting seeds, and I hope y'all paying attention. All right, I saw this joke of an article on boxing scene. No disrespect to the writer, but because um, they only quoting what Oscar De La Hoya said. Um, so let's read. Link will be in the description. Oscar De La Hoya, CEO of Golden Boy Promotions. Would like to see Ryan Garcia and Canelo Alvarez settle their social media dispute by stepping into the ring at least several years <laughs> down the line at a catch weight. Unbelievable. At the moment, Garcia and Canelo are very far apart in weight. Well, it depends on which weight Canelo wants to be at. You know, he, you know, he's a mutant, you know. He wants 60, 168, 175. He will be at 200. That's coming. I'm telling you, it's coming. Whatever. Canelo is an undisputed world champion at super middleweight at 168, while Garcia competes at the lightweight limit of 135, although he expects to go up to 140 in the near future. Fighting for the first time since January of 2021, Garcia will return on April 9th when he faces Emmanuel Tago at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. When he enters the ring, Garcia will have a new trainer by his side, veteran coach Joe Goosen. The 23-year-old boxer had been trained for his last few fights by Eddie Reynoso, who is a longtime trainer and manager of Canelo. On Monday, in an interview to circulate uh, uh, where Canelo questioned Garcia's work ethic, we all saw it, citing that the aspect as a uh, contributing factor to Garcia's split with, with uh, Reynoso. Garcia took to social media to respond, explaining that Canelo didn't know the facts. Hmm. De, La Hoya, De La Hoya has no idea what to make of the whole rift, but he sees future dollar signs, of course. I don't know, but I hope it's a future fight against Canelo and Ryan in the near future. De La Hoya said to Brian Campbell of CBS Sports. Uh, De La Hoya was the lead promoter of Canelo for several years. He began working with the Mexican star in 2009 with the public legal split in 2020. We all saw that. I wish Canelo the very best, De La Hoya said. We are not best of friends, <laughs> but he is a colleague of mine and I wish him the best. All right. Uh, he, he's doing for boxing what I did for many years in the past. Uh, he's the guy who has the torch now, and I wish him the very best, but you never know. Down the road, three years or four years, Ryan Garcia and Canelo at 165, you just never know. That's the article. Here's my opinion. Oscar, shut your mouth. Shut up. And I want everyone to pay attention. What they're trying to do is uh, uh, get a ball rolling here. They're trying to plant seeds. Now that Oscar has put this out, starting today, March 2nd of 2022, people start like whispering about it. If Garcia comes back and has a string of wins and this, he starts having these conversations, look, I just can't make a, I just can't make 135 anymore. I just can't make 140. I just can't make 147. Do not be surprised because they're giving this kid accolades right now and he hasn't done any goddamn thing. Don't be surprised if he has a couple of, you know, fights against some ham and eggs at 135 and then you know um he'll say uh, what whoever the, whoever has the belts magically will become uh insignificant or what has he done and i sell seats and uh you know i'm, I'm on twitter and i look like the lead singer menudo and uh, I'm, I'm cute and i'm sexy I'm too sexy for this vest yeah 
So I'm going to go ahead to 147. He's going to go there and play games and play games and play games. And by that time, you know, they're going to BS this kid all the way up to 160, 165. Canelo will still be active. And they will they will make that fight over all kinds of fights that even that, that, that matter. There'll be people high in the rankings, making waves. People will have belts and no one will care. Canelo, we, 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 all, we all know he ain't going to grab a belt from Charlo. By then, Charlo, what, a couple of years down the road, Charlo will either be retired or at 168 or at 175. Errol will be at 160. Boots will be at 160, 168. There'll be all these sharks in the water and everybody fighting each other. And they will preserve Ryan and Canelo because that is the payday. Protection agency. So, see, you got to understand, family, when Canelo says everyone should fight each other, you know what? I agree with you. All these fighters should fight each other and ignore Canelo's ass. I've never seen anything like this. I swear to God, they accused Ray Leonard of doing this, and it was bad. They accused Floyd Mayweather of doing this, and it was bad. I'm watching this unfold right in front of my eyes, and no one is saying anything. I've never seen anything like this. I'm sorry, I have. They tried to do it with Anthony Joshua until Andy Ruiz happened. You got all of this stuff happening around Canelo Alvarez, people leaving the damn gym. I heard Andy Ruiz. I don't know the story on Andy Ruiz. I'm not clear on that. I heard he's not there anymore. What happened? This kid, Canelo, pops dirty, and it's all good. Valdez pops dirty. Nothing to see here. It was just some tea. And he's still allowed to fight. Now Ryan Garcia leaves the camp. And now he's out here talking about, yo, y'all don't know the full story. What's the full story, Ryan? Because he said, yo ass supposed to show up at the gym at 12 noon. You don't show up till 2. And you hang out for 20 minutes and you bounce. Canelo's your OG. And you left the gym? Canelo's the face of boxing? You left the gym? What the hell's really going on over there? I'm telling you, this, this ain't done. Something gonna happen and he gonna say something. He's dry snitching on everybody. And all Oscar sees is dollar signs. He's enjoying the chaos, by the way. Oscar's enjoying the chaos. He's enjoying it. He says, yeah, you know, we ain't leave on the best of terms. You know, him and, him and Canelo, ain't, they ain't friends. There's a professional rivalry there. This always happens. You know how we always say, oh, man, you know what, though? You know, Floyd really didn't want to see A.B. shine. He didn't want to see Brona shine. There may be some truth to that. Why is this any different? I don't think Oscar De La Hoya wants to see Canelo shine. He's shining. And I don't think Oscar likes that. So this beef right here, and he says, hey, man, you know, if I can maximize my dollar on that, in about three or four years, they can fight at a catch weight, 160, 165. But this ain't over. But I'm telling y'all, they planting the seeds right now. Watch the play. They putting Ryan Garcia. This guy's putting Ryan Garcia in the ring with Canelo. And he can't even get in the goddamn ring with Devin Haney. Mind you, he don't deserve Devin Haney. Come on, man. You can't even get him in the ring with freaking Jojo Diaz. He tried that. And his head hurt. Whatever, man. Y'all let me know what you think. Bronx on deck. Move!